Nation and Mac Nepper! Alright, I'm first. Uh, Mac, uh, Mac loves to brag about owning a condo. You know, he does own a condo. Uh, and it's like, okay, Mac, if you're so rich, why do you look like you sleep on a pile of laundry? <laughs> Mac looks like he has a reminder to brush his teeth on the back of a Chick-fil-A napkin. <laughs> I think uh, Courtney was a little confused when she challenged me to this roast on Cinco de Mayo because she doesn't speak Spanish and she told me she thought it was translated to a sink of mayo, like the condiment, because she's fat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's okay, man. Right? You come with the fat jokes, I get it, you know? I think Max is jealous because the only time you'll ever hear anyone describe you as big is when they're ordering a burger at McDonald's. <laughs> <laughs> I was also kind of confused when I uh, first got here as well. I originally wore a Hawaiian shirt and had to change out of it because when I heard I was roasting Courtney Peterson, I assumed it was a luau because she spat like a pig and then had a pig on the <laughs> Was that an essay, bro? <laughs> also, also, I want to be clear, both of you are almost fat. You're not telling me. <laughs> Let's clear that shit right up. Body shaming, skinny jeans. <laughs> <laughs> no, I like that Matt came at me with a, with a very corny joke. I'll come at with you with a corny one as well. Do your style. Here's a poem for you, okay? Uh, roses are red. Uh, lilies are green. Uh, Matt's a hack and lost a fight to Bob Keen. <laughs> <laughs> For the audience that paid money, those are two comics you don't know. <laughs> audience, I'm with you. Uh, Courtney was nice enough to give me a ride here in a covered wagon that she was pulling. <laughs> about your potential. <laughs> okay, uh, <laughs> Matt's uh, voice kind of sounds like Batman, right? A little bit. You know, like if Batman went to community college and then spent the rest of his life working at Enterprise Rent-A-Car. Are we talking up on jokes? Uh, yeah, I'm trying. <laughs> uh, years back, Courtney lost a bunch of weight uh, on most of her body, but she still has fat person lips. Nice lips. Hello. <laughs> uh, well, this... <laughs> is this a Reddit forum? Like, what is it? <laughs> This is the worst episode of Divorce Court I've ever seen. Um, uh, I don't know if you can tell, but Matt never owns a firearm. And, and by firearm, I mean the burning sensation he gets from jacking off all the comics that are better than him in town. hosted a clothing swap here at Lincoln Lodge because she ran out of clothes that fit her because she's getting fat again and needs bigger clothes. Look, my ass would be fat, but Mac would definitely eat it, so... <laughs> China. Uh, she picked Wuhan because she loves to eat bats and already ate all the bats in Chicago. The last joke that I got? Alright, uh, here we go. Uh, Max Thick is so small. Um, <laughs> I'm starting now. Courtney's starting 
a stand-up show in the basement of a tattoo shop says she can't get booked in any actual venues because she's bad at comedy? Oh. Yeah! <laughs> Thank you. Seven jokes. That's kind of a lot to write. Just for um, there's 15 jokes. <laughs> Mac, Mac Nepper has Crohn's disease, which is surprising because I, I always thought Mac was full of shit. <laughs> but he, out he can't keep it in. <laughs> That's plus, ableist. Plus yeah, he has an anal fissure, which is like having two assholes. So now, <laughs> and then two more inside jokes. Two of them all, Chris. Two of them all. You're a bad person. Oh shit. That was great, Chris. She does have very nice lips. I mean, those are nice lips. What the fuck is wrong with you guys? <laughs> I was That's what I said. <laughs> okay, well, uh, great. Uh, I think we're at, okay, you know, uh, other joke. <laughs> the other, the other made off. All right, less Jewish made off. Less Jewish made off. I wanted to roast, I uh, think of a fat joke for Courtney because that is all Mac thought of, so I wanted to add to it, but I couldn't see her behind you, Mac. So that kind of... <laughs> It's hard to say. So it also you had good written jokes, but they were all kind of about how she's fat. And then your last joke was about how she's not good at comedy. Like it right after she got a semi standing ovation. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know, I know. But it was good. And Courtney, I, I didn't understand that Bob, what's his face thing at all. So I really <laughs> think he sucks. He's just hated. Is he here? I don't know. No, no, we love Bob. The audience really loves love hate guy. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, but. It, Hey, listen, you guys are both really good. Courtney, you killed the guy. I mean, asking me who won this rose is like asking me which Medoff brother is hotter. <laughs> Courtney uh, pulled the plow here. Uh, was a good joke. That was a quality, well-written joke. You should be deeply ashamed of everything else you did. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so Courtney gets three. She wins the rest. Give it up for us. Uh, before you guys go, I do want final thoughts from Tito. Uh, it's obvious that Matt won. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Matt, you look like a tow truck driver that won't sign divorce papers. <laughs> Courtney, you look like every 90s MTV character on my so-called life. <laughs> she body walked you, bro. It's over. And then, and then Joe. Um, oh boy, what else can I say about a man who looks like he... Uh, Choose Monster Energy flavored chewing tobacco. <laughs> and panic at the Crisco. <laughs> I, I told him to say that. Shut up, you're hotter, not funny. Uh, uh, yeah, I mean, <laughs> how big of an asshole would I have to be to vote for Mac? Courtney. It's Courtney, obviously. Okay, give it up for Holy shit, how are you guys feeling?